The summer heat has been especially unforgiving to those residing in Fulton County. However, back at the county fairgrounds, the heat is far from the minds of competitors and animals alike preparing to take on the course in the annual 4-H dog agility competition. Eight years, and it's basically obedience and agility, agility being a course set up that the dog runs and obedience being um, like sitting and staying and laying down on command. And I have a course set up at my house that I practice. The furry competitors in each competition are expected to complete various obstacles, maneuver hoops, and scale erected jumps but all in a manner according to their owners. Difficulties for trainers in the midst of competition can be all too commonplace. Regardless of what competition class the dog is enlisted, a slip up can occur at any time. There is a lot of pressure, especially during agility when you're in the ring all by yourself and you're getting ready to run around with your dog and kind of look like a chicken with its head cut off. Um, especially since I've been in it for eight years, I get more and more pressure each year because they start off with the beginners and then at the very, very end is the more advanced people and so you have to tear down all of the equipment and set up all of your equipment and then everyone's just staring at you waiting for you to go so it's very, it's a lot of pressure. Setup for each competition is tedious and tailors to each animal's competition specifications. The trainers are limited as far as interaction with their dogs are concerned, for they are only allowed to utilize their voice, certain movements, and gestures while out on the competition field. When the going gets rough in competition, if at all, at the end of the day, there's always man's best friend. 